Hi everyone, welcome to Singing How to Study Chinese. This is HSK Level 1 course, and today we are going to learn Lesson 14. I'm your teacher, Ronnie, and this is 她买了不少衣服. 她买了不少衣服, which means she has bought quite a few clothes. Okay, first let's move on to the warm-up part. There are six pictures and six words as usual. Let's see the six words. First one is 苹果, 苹果, it means apple, apple. Next one, 车, 车, this means car, car. Next one, 衣服, 衣服, this means clothes, clothes. Next one, 商店, we are really familiar with it. And next one, 书店, 书店, 书 means book, so 书店 means bookstore. Last one, 英语书, 英语书, 英语 is English, so 英语书 is English book. Okay, now I will give you 15 seconds and please fill in the blanks. Okay, time's up. Now let's see the answers. First one, 苹果, the apple is D, D. Next one, 车 is A, A, it means car. Next one, 衣服 is clothes, so B. Next, 商店 is shop, shop, store, so it is F, right, F, it is shop. Next one, 书店, 书店, which one is 书店? E, we can see in the picture there are many books, many books. Last one, 英语书, English book is C, we can see here there are English. Okay, so we can see this today's lesson is about buying things. Okay, first let's see text one's new words. First one is 东西, 东西, 东, 东, 西, 西, 东西, and C is neutral tone. Please read after me. 东西, 东西, okay, this means thing, stuff, thing, stuff. So when I say 什么东西, 什么东西, this means what thing, right? What thing. So how to ask what is this thing? What is this thing? How to ask this question in Chinese? What is this thing? So we need to find the subject first. The subject is this, right? This is what? This is what thing? We just need to change the question word order into the declarative sentence word order. So what is this thing? Change this sentence into the declarative sentence, then it is this is what thing, right? This is what thing. So just translate this sentence into Chinese, then you can get a right order, which is 这是, this is 这是, what thing? 什么东西? Okay, this is the question in Chinese. 这是什么东西? What is this thing? Okay, how to say my thing? My thing. It is 我的东西, yes, 我的东西, and his thing is 他的东西, 他的东西, teacher's things, teacher's things, it is 老师的东西, 老师的东西, and whose thing, whose thing, 谁的东西, yes, 谁的东西, don't forget about this interrogative pronoun, 谁, means who, okay, she. Next, try to say buy things, buy things. That is, 买东西, right? 买东西, buy, 买, we just need to put 买 in front of 东西. Okay, buy what thing, then it is, 买什么东西, 买什么东西 is buy what, buy what. Last, what do you want to buy? What do you want to buy? 
Really easy. We just need to change this sentence, this question, into a declarative sentence. Then it is, "You want to buy what thing?" And then just try to translate it into Chinese. Then you can get a, "你 want to buy 想买 what thing 什么东西？你想买什么东西 ？OK? 你想买什么东西 ？This is 东西。Please pay attention to C. It is a neutral term. Please read it soft and quick. Next one is 一点儿，一点儿。Okay, we can see here it is a 儿 at the end of the is at the end of the syllable. And in the pinyin, we can see there's r, and which means this is a retroflex final, retroflex final. And in retroflex finals, when The former syllable is end with ended with n this one this thing. Then we will remove it and put r after it, and then we will read it as dr dr. Don't read it as dr. Don't read it as dr. Okay, please read it as dr. Okay, dr. Read after me. 一点儿一点儿 ，OK， 一点儿 ，and the e here is a fourth tone， fourth tone， OK， 一点儿，一点儿 ，it means a few， a little， a few， a little。When you want to say a few or a little thing， just put the thing after 一点儿 ，OK， this is the structure， 一点儿 plus the noun。So when I want to say a few things， then it is。一点儿东西 ，right？ 一点儿东西，对，一点儿东西。And try to say a few tea, a few tea. It is 一点儿茶，一点儿茶。And buy a few things, buy a few things. 买一点儿东西，买一点儿东西。And drink a little tea. Drink some tea. It is 喝一点儿茶，喝一点儿茶。Okay, this is 一点儿，一点儿。Last word is 苹果，苹果。波音苹，哥我果，苹果。Okay, pay attention to this 果。It is a third tone, and it is in a disyllabic word, so we should read it as a half third tone, right? Half third tone. Read after me. 苹果，苹果，苹果 It means apple, apple. So a few apples, a few apples. How to say that in Chinese? A few apples. Yes, 一点儿苹果，一点儿苹果 And eat a few apples. Eat a few apples. 吃一点儿苹果，吃一点儿苹果。Excellent. Now try to read this from start, each for twice. Read after me, please. 东西，东西，一点儿，一点儿，苹果，苹果。Okay, very good. Now let's move on to our text, and please listen carefully to the pronunciation. 昨天上午你去哪儿了？我去商店买东西了。你买什么了？我买了一点苹果。Okay, let's see the text sentence by sentence. First one is: 昨天上午 ，yesterday morning. It is the time word indicates the time for this thing happened. 你去哪儿了 ？Where have you been? 去哪儿 ？Is go to somewhere. Go where? Okay. 你去哪儿了？你去哪儿了 ？Where have you been? And B answered. 我 I 去商店 went to the shop and did what? 买东西了 Buy things. Buy things. So go to the shop. Buy something. This is the structure we've learned before. To plus a location or direction, and then plus do something. Do something. 
This is the structure we've learned before. Okay, 去 a place, do something. 去商店买东西 Okay, and A asked again, "What did you buy?" 你买什么了？你买什么了？我买了一点苹果。我买了一点苹果。I bought some a few apples. I bought some apples. So in this text, most of the words we already learned, but some of them here, le, le. We are not very familiar with it, right? For this "le" in this sentence, it actually means that the action is is happening or already happened. Okay, and we are going to talk about it in details later. So first, try to read this text after me. Okay, three, two, one. 昨天上午你去哪儿了？我去商店买东西了。你买什么了？我买了一点苹果。Okay, now let's read it in rows. You will, I will be A and you will be B. Three, two, one. 昨天上午你去哪儿了？我去商，你买什么了 ？Okay, now let's switch the row. You will be A and I will be B. Please start. 我去商店买东西了。我买了一点苹果。Okay, now let's move on. Text two. Let's see the new words. First one, 看见，看见 This 看 we already learned, which means see, visit, watch, look, right? And if we put a 见 after it, 看见 that it means to see. To see, okay. To see. Read after me, please. 看见，看见，看见 Okay. If you wanna say you saw something, just put the thing after 看见 Okay. If you saw the apples, then 看见苹果 Okay. If you saw your students, 看见学生 If you saw your teacher, 看见老师 Okay. Next one is 先生先生，吸烟，先生，生 ，and 生 is the neutral tone. 先生，先生 ，read after me, please. 先生，先生 ，it means Mister, Mister, Sir. And we've learned another way to describe young ladies, which is 小姐 right? 小姐 okay, 小姐 This is 先生 to describe man, 先生 And anyone you wanna call. Uh, 先生 you can just call him sir, 先生 or you can put a family name before 先生 And for example, if someone's family name is Li, you can call him Li 先生 Okay, don't call him 先生 Li. That's not the right order in Chinese. Okay, we will put the family name before this 先生 Next one is 开可爱 Kai, read up to me, please. Kai, Kai, it means to drive, and it also have other meanings such as open, open the door, open the window, open the, open the can, open the, uh, turn, turn on the light, turn on the TV, something like this. And today we are going to learn the drive, this meaning, okay, the drive, to drive. <laughs> The next one is a pair for this verb kai, which is chu 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 e chu. Read after me, please. Chu chu. This means car, vehicle, car. Okay, so drive car is kai chu 
Kai Chu, okay, read after me, please. Kai Chu, Kai Chu, okay. If you want to drive to somewhere, drive to somewhere, we will say Kai Chu Chu, a place. Kai Chu Chu, a place. We won't say Kai Chu, okay, we won't say that. That's, that doesn't work in Chinese. We will always put Chu after Kai when we want to use the drive meaning. Because Kai has many other meanings. If you just put Kai itself in the sentence, then we don't know which meaning you are indicating. Okay. So when you want to say drive to somewhere, Kai Chu Chu, please. And how to say, I can drive. I can drive. I am able to drive. Be able to do something, the modal verb be able to. Which is, 我会开车, right? 我会开车. I learned to drive through, uh, through the coach, right? I learned to learn to drive from the coach, and I had a driver's license. Then I can drive, which is 我能开车. I can drive, which means I have the, I can. I have the license to drive. 我能开车, and I have the skill is 我会开车, right? 我会开车, 会 and 能, there are differences between these two, these two modal verbs. Okay, so how to say I, I am not able to drive. I didn't learn to drive. That means how to say this. 不会, right? 不会开车, the negative form of 会, 不会开车. And how to say learn to drive? Learn to drive. It's 学开车, right? 学开车, 学习, 学习开车, or 学开车. Next, how to say drive to school? Drive to school. 开车学校。no, we say 开车去学校, okay, 开车去学校, 开车, and we have, we need to put the go to this word inside the sentence, 开车去学校, okay, how to say, drive to the shop, drive to the shop, 开车去商店, right, 开车去商店, 开车去, and next one, is mm, try to say drive back home drive back home it is 开车回家 okay 开车回家 don't say 开车去家 because when you go home you are actually going back home going back home so we will use 回家 instead of 去家 okay 去家 Okay, try to let's try to re, do some reviews first. Go drive to the school, 开车去学校, drive to the shop, 开车去商店, and drive back home, 开车回家. Okay, very good. Very good. Next one is 回来. 回来, 回, 回, second term, and 来 is actually a neutral term in this, in this word. 回来, read after me please. 回来, 回来, it means to come back, come back. We've learned 回 before, okay, 回 before. So, can come back is 能回来, right? 能回来, can come back. So, when can come back? When can come back? What time can come back? What moment can come back? It is 什么时候能回来? Okay, please don't forget about the time words we've learned before. 什么时候 is used to ask about time, right? 什么时候? 时恩神摸摸时候 Okay, 什么时候? And in this phrase, 什么, 
Mo is the neutral tone and shi ho ho is the neutral tone. Okay, shen ma shi ho neng hui jia. Shen ma shi ho neng hui lai. Next one, how to say when can you come back? When can you come back? We just need to put you before the sentence we just made, right? Ni shen ma shi ho neng hui lai. Ni shen ma shi ho neng hui lai. Okay, ni shen ma shi ho neng hui lai. Ni shen ma shi ho neng hui jia. Okay, this is Hui Lai, come back. Next one is Fen Zhong, Fu En, Fen Zhi Wong Zhong, Fen Zhong, Fen Zhong. We've learned Fen before, right? It means minute. And Fen Zhong, it means minute too. Read after me, please. Fen Zhong, Fen Zhong, Fen Zhong. Okay, Fen Zhong. So, how many minutes? How many minutes? How to say that? How many minutes? We just need to put ji before it. Ji fen zhong. Ji means how many, how much, right? Ji fen zhong, how many minutes? One minute. Try to say that. Yi fen zhong, right? Yi fen zhong. Pay attention to the tone, Sandy, here. Yi, yi fen zhong. How to say two? Say two minutes. Two minutes. It is? Not er fen zhong, liang fen zhong. Please pay attention to it. Le yang liang, le yang liang, liang fen zhong. We've learned about it before when we are talking about the time, the hours. We said two o'clock is liang dian instead of er dian before. Okay, liang liang fen zhong. Last word is ho, he o ho, he o ho. Read after me, please. Ho, ho. Ho, it means after, afterwards, later, okay? So when I wanna say after one minute, after one minute, I will say yi fen zhong ho, yi fen zhong ho. So we can see when we wanna say after how many minutes, after how many days, we will put the ho after the time, right? Put ho after the time. Um, after one minute, 一分钟后. After one day, 一天后. Okay, after two days, 两天后. Okay, after one year, 一年后. So put 后 at behind. Okay, at behind. Now, let's see the last new word is 张, 张, 张. Zhi an zhang, read after me, please. Zhang, zhang, it means it is a Chinese family name, okay? Chinese family name, and it is a really common one, too. Now, let's move on to our text. Please listen carefully, and if you can, please read after me. 你看见张先生了吗? 看见了。他去学开车了。他什么时候能回来? 四十分钟后回来. Okay, now let's see the sentence by sentence. First one, 你看见, did you see Mr. Zhang? Did you see Mr. Zhang? 张先生了吗? here is used to indicate this sentence as a question. Next one, 看见了, I did, I saw him. Where did he go? 他去学开车了。He去学, went to do something, this structure, 去, do something, went to do something, go to do something. 去学 what? 学开车, learn to drive, learn to drive. 他什么时候能回来? When can he come back? He, the subject, here, ta the time asking about the time. Nung hui can come back, can come back. The modal verb plus a verb. Okay. Modal verb plus a verb. When can he come back? ho. Ho is after the time, right? And we put the time word before the verb here before the verb here and we can see we can still see le, le, le. so if there is a le after a verb then this means this action is in progress 
or it already happened. Okay, already happened. Now let's try to read it after me. Okay, three, two, one. 你看见张先生了吗? 看见了。他去学开车了。他什么时候能回来? 四十分钟后回来。Okay, now let's read it in rows. I will be A and you will be B. 你看见张先生了吗? 他什么时候能回来? 他什么时候能回来? Okay, now let's switch the row. Please start. Kanjella Okay, now let's move on to text three. Last text for today. In front of a store, outside a store, let's see the new words. So about a store, it is evil, okay? Evil, which means closed. Fu is the neutral term, please pay attention to it and please read after me. Yifu, 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 fu, 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 and it means close, close. Next one, piao liang, piao liang, po yao, piao, le yang, liang, liang is a neutral term, read after me please. Piao liang, piao liang, piao liang, okay, it means beautiful, pretty, beautiful, pretty. So. Very beautiful is 很漂亮, right? 很漂亮. And too beautiful, too beautiful. Try to use the structure we've learned before. Too beautiful. It is 太漂亮了, okay? 太漂亮了, 太漂亮了. Next, beautiful clothes, beautiful clothes. Beautiful clothes is 漂亮的衣服, 漂亮的衣服, we will put the in between, 漂亮的衣服, okay, 漂亮的衣服, next one, try to say beautiful cups, beautiful cups, it is 漂亮的杯子, 漂亮的杯子, and beautiful kitty, beautiful little kitty, is 漂亮的, 小猫, 小猫, okay, 漂亮的小猫, we've learned this word before. Okay, this is 漂亮, so if you are, you, you want to say, if you want to compliment and you are facing someone in face to face, so you can say 你很漂亮, 你很漂亮, but when you wanna, just wanna describe a thing, then you can say 漂亮的 something, okay, 漂亮的 something. Next is a, a, it is a neutral tone word. Please read after me. A, a, this is a particle and it is a modal particle, modal particle. It is used at the end of a sentence to set a mood, set a mood. For example, when I wanna say yes, then I will say 是啊, 是啊, I will put a a ah after 是, okay, 是啊. Next one is 少, 是熬, 少, read up to me please. 少, 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 this means little, few, 少, okay. And if we put a 不 before it, then it is 不少, not little, quite a few, many. Many, many, okay. And when I wanna say very little, very few, very few, not that much, then I will put the very before 少, then I can get 很少, 很少, it means a little, just a little bit, 很少, 很少. And when I wanna say many clothes, many clothes, then I can use 不少, right, 不少. Many clothes, how to say that? 
不少衣服, right? 不少衣服, and many apples. 不少苹果, 不少苹果, and many students. 不少学生, so we can see if we want to say many something, many somebody, then we will put the noun after 不少. Okay, 不少. Next, 这些, 这, 这些, 些, 这些, read up to me please. 这些, 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 it means these, these, okay, these. So these clothes, these clothes, it is. 这些衣服, right? 这些衣服, these apples, these apples. 这些苹果, 这些苹果, and these students, these students. 这些学生, 这些学生. And still remember how to say those? 些 means a few, a little, right? 些 means a few, a little. So those, 那些, and which is 那些, okay? Please pay attention to the differentiation between 那些 and 那些. These two have different tones, okay? 那些, those, it is a fourth tone. 那些, which, it is a third tone, okay? Next one is 都, 的哦, 都, read after me, please. 都, 都, it is a, it is an adverb, it means both. Or, 都, 都, okay. Now let's move on to the text and please listen carefully. 王芳的衣服太漂亮了。是啊,他买了不少衣服。你买什么了?我没买。这些都是王芳的东西。Okay, now let's see the text sentence by sentence. First one, 王芳的衣服。Wang Fang's clothes, right? Wang Fang the Yi Fu De means the possession relationship. Next one, Tai Piao Liang La. Very beautiful. Tai Piao Liang La. Very beautiful. Too beautiful. Okay? Too beautiful. And Shi we can see this ah, the particle, the modal particle is at the end of the word, at the end of a short sentence. It is used to set the mood. Actually, when we just say shi, it sounds too cold and it sounds not that polite. But when we say shi, shi, then it will soften our mood, the tune, the tone of our conversation. Next one, ta mai la bu shao yi fu. She bought quite a few clothes, quite a few, 不少, very many, very much, many. 她买了不少衣服, she bought quite a few clothes. 你买什么了? 你买什么了? What did you buy? What did you buy? 你买什么了? 我没买, I didn't buy. You can see? May here, it is the negative form of my, okay, may my, I didn't buy. 这些, these, 这些, 都是, all, are, these all are Wang Fang's things, Wang Fang的东西, Wang Fang's thing, Wang Fang's thing. Okay, now let's try to read this text from start. Read up to me, please. Wang Fang的衣服, 太漂亮了。是啊,他买了不少衣服。你买什么了?我没买。这些都是王芳的东西。Okay, now let's try to read it in rows. I will be A and you will be B. 王芳的衣服太漂亮了。你买什么了? Okay, now let's switch the row. You will be A and I will be B. 
Please start. Shi Okay, now let's move on to our next part, which is the language point. Language point. First is the l, this character l. It is used at the end of the sentences, okay? Used at the end of the sentence, or it can be used between, in between a verb and its object. Okay, first let's see when it is used at the end of a sentence. 我去商店了. 我去商店了, le is at the end of a sentence and it indicates the occurrence or completion of the action, okay? So 我去商店了 here actually means I have been to the store. This already happened, this action is completed. Go to the shop, this action is completed, okay? 我去商店了. Or we can have another explanation which means I am going to the shop now. I am going to the shop now. So when you want to go to the shop and you want to call your class classmate, then you can just use this sentence. 我去商店了. I am going to the shop. Are you going with me? Okay, 我去商店了. Next one. 他去学开车了. 他去学开车了. He went to learn to drive. He went to learn to drive. This thing is can be happening right now or it can be already happened before and he already learned to drive. Okay. Next one. 你买什么了? 你买什么了? Le is at the end of the sentence. What did you buy? What did you buy? So this is already, this thing already happened. 你买什么了? 你买什么了? Okay, what did you buy? Okay, now let's see another example, which is when the le, le can be used after the verb and before the object. Okay, let's see the first example. 他买了一点苹果. Okay, let's see where is the verb here, my, buy. And uh, and the object of this verb my is 苹果, my 苹果. And we can see we put le, le just before the object. 买了一点苹果, 买了一点苹果. Bought a few apples, bought a few apples. Next one, 我买了, again 买了, what? 买了衣服, and how many? Shall many clothes. I bought many clothes. Last one. 你看见了几个人? 你看见了几个人? How many people did you see? 看见 the verb and the object 人, 看见人, see some people. And here we put le here. And we can see in these kind of sentences, we will always put this thing before the object, right? So here is the rule, here is the rule. When it is, when the l is used in between the verb and the object, okay? In between it, then mostly there will be a classifier before this object, okay? There will be a classifier. And this time, in this situation, we will put l between verb and the object and also before the classifier. Okay, this is the rule. So let's, now let's do a little summary. First, le indicates the occurrence or completion. Okay, this is the first rule. And second, the negative version of it, negative version of it. Try to think about it. Try to think about it. How to say, I haven't been to the shop. This is the answer. 没去商店, 没去商店, okay, 没去商店. Next, 我没买, I didn't buy it. This is the, from the text. 我没看见张先生, I didn't see Mr. Zhang. So we can see here, 
The negative form of it is may. We will put may before the verb, right? Before the verb and the object. And the le is actually omitted, omitted in the negative form, okay? So this is the negative form of it. Put may before the verb, and sometimes we will put an object after the verb, okay? This is it. No le. So the second summary is, in the negative form of it, it is may plus the verb plus the object. No le, we will omit le. And it can be the third summary is, it can be used at the end of a sentence or between the verb and the object. And when it is between the verb and the object, there usually will be a classifier for the object. So this is le. Next one is the non ho. Non ho. This non indicates a period, okay? A period after the present time or the time mentioned before. Mentioned before. First example is wu dian ho. Wu dian, it means five o'clock, right? Five o'clock. So wu dian ho, after five o'clock. Next one, si shi fen zhong ho. Si shi fen zhong ho. It is after 40 minutes, after 40 minutes. Next one, xing qi san ho. Xing qi san ho. Xing qi san, it means the Tuesday or what? Wednesday, right? It is Wednesday. Xing qi yi, Monday. Xing qi ar, the Tuesday. Xing qi san, Wednesday. And xing qi si, Thursday. Xing qi wu, Friday. Okay, yi, er, san, si, wu. And the special one is Sunday, xing qi ri. Let's see these three words, these three phrases. You can see first one, wu dian, it is a moment, it is a time point, right? Not like si shi zhong, it is a period, period. And next one, xing qi san, a moment too. So we can see ho can be used after a moment and it can also be used after a period, period. So the structure of it is the moment, or the period plus the ho. This means after how many time, after which time, after which time. And the question of it, question, how to ask a question about how, what time, after what time, after how long time, how to ask about it. So try to change this, these two things into the interrogative pronouns. So first, for the moment, the interrogative pronoun can be when, right? When, and for the period, the interrog interrogative pronoun can be how long, how long. So for when, in Chinese, it is 什么时候, right? 什么时候, and how long we haven't been, we haven't learned. This is 多久,多久, okay? 多我多久,多久. This is the structure of it. Now let's see another three examples. First one, 你几点去工作? 你几点去工作? When will you go to work? 几点? When? And answer is 八点后, after 8 o'clock. We can see the time is before 后. Next one, 你什么时候回家? When will you come home? Come home. 五点后, after five o'clock, the time is still before ho. Next one, 他什么时候能回来? When will he come back? 回来, come back. 他什么时候, when? 四十分钟后能回来, after 14 minutes, after 14 minutes. Okay, then try to say, I will go back home after an hour. I will go back home after an hour. So please pay attention to the position of the time word. First, we will put a subject at the beginning of the sentence, which is I, 我. And next is the time word before the go back home, right? Before the go back home. I will go back home after one hour, which is 我一个小时后, right? 一个小时,一个小时后. 回家, go back home, 回家, 我一个小时后回家, 
Okay, this is the noun ho. Next one is the modal particle a, uh, modal particle a. Uh. For this one, this one, what we should pay attention to is more about its pronunciation instead of the meaning, because it actually doesn't have any meaning. Okay, it is just used to set a mood for the sentence. So when the when the syllable, when the syllable before a uh, is different, okay, when this when the final of the syllable before it different, like this, like this. There are so many groups of it, different syllables, different finals, and the R's pronunciation will slightly change. Okay, let's see some examples. First, when the final of the syllable before it ends up with A, E, O, for these five finals, we will change R into Ya. I will give you an example. For example, um, this is mom. This is mother. This is mother. How to say that? It is 这是妈妈. 这是妈妈. And when I want to put an R after it, then it, it becomes 这是妈妈呀. 这是妈妈呀, okay, 这是妈妈呀, because 妈妈, 妈 ends up with a, right, so we will change a into ya, 妈妈呀, 妈妈呀, and when I say you, you, 你呀, 你呀, it sounds like 你呀, right, 你呀, 你呀, okay, 你呀, 你呀, okay, next one is 乌奥, O, U, O, O. When A is after these three finals, we will change it into Wa. Wa. Please listen carefully. When I say it's good, good, I will say Hawa, Hawa, Hawa. Okay, pay attention to the lips. Hawa. Because for these three finals, U, U, O, O. These three finals, we all end up with the U, this shape, right? Our lips are ended with U, U, O, O, or ends up with U. So when we want to pronounce A uh, after this, we will just naturally pronounce Wa, right? Wa, Wa. That's why this A uh, will change when it is after these three finals. And the others are the same rules. For mm, mm, for example, when I ask, what time is it? 几点呢? 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 Because 点 ends up with n, mm, right? Mm, so when I want to say a ah after it, I will naturally pronounce na. 几点呢? Because my tongue and my lip and my teeth is still at the end, at the position of n, right? N, so I will pronounce na. Next one is the same. For example, how to say zero? Zero in Chinese, it is ling, ling, okay, ling. So when I wanna say it's zero, ling, just ling, ling. So when I said pronounced ling, at the end of ling, I my tongue position is still at here. Mm, my nose is still working, and the the position of my tongue is still rising up. Ling, mm, the the root of my tongue is rising up, right? So when I want to pronounce ah, it becomes ng ng this sound ng right ling ling right. Next one is the same. When it is the E in the okay, it is okay, and the pronunciation of R will became to become to za. Okay, for example, the Mandarin orange in Chinese is and when I say this is the orange. This is the Mandarin orange. Then, this is Okay, it sounds like 橘子, right? 紫, 紫. Next one is the same. 
Next one is the same. This special one is the 日. When I want to say this is Sunday. 这是星期日啊, 日啊, 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 sounds like that. That's why we will change R into R. Okay? This is the this is the rule of it. Okay, now let's try to read some examples. First one is 你是王小姐吗? 是啊, 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 right? Yeah, it sounds like yeah. Next one is 好啊, 好啊, 哇. Next one is here. 是啊, 是呀, another 是呀, okay? So don't think it is too difficult. We just need to change this uh, because the pronunciation of the syllable before it made we change into this naturally, naturally, okay? Okay, now let's move on to the next part, which is the adverb, though, which means or, or. Okay, so first, let's see the example. 我们都是中国人, 我们都是中国人, okay? 我们, we, 都, or, 是, is, 中国人, we are all Chinese, we are all Chinese. We can see, you can see, this we, this we, this we is the people, right? And the, pro, the, and the rule of it is, the people or the objects included are put before do. I put before though. So we are all Chinese. We are all Chinese. We are included in this situation. So we are before though. Okay. We are all Chinese. It is the same as English because in English we will put we before all, right? Next one. 他们都喜欢喝茶. 他们都喜欢喝茶. They all like to drink tea. They all like to drink tea. We put they before are. Next one. 这些都是王方的东西. These all are Wangfang's things. These all are Wangfang's things. We put these before all. So when you want to say these uh, something are all something, then we will put that this group just before the Okay, put the people or the objects included just before though. Okay, so now try to say, we are all students. We are all students. That is, 我们都是学生, right? 我们都是学生. This thing is the description, description modifier. This thing is what we want to describe. And put, please put that thing that part before though. So this is the language point for today. Now let's move on to next part. Let's do some practices. First, mom went to the shop to buy some, we can see here are uh, green something and red something. They all look so round. They look like apples. So we can see, we can say mom went to the shop and bought some or some apples, right? Apples. So how to say apples in Chinese? It is 苹果. So mama Okay, 买了苹果. Next one. 她下午去学 what? She is in a car. She looks like she's learning to drive. So how to say drive in Chinese? Kai, don't only say kai, it is kai chu, right? Kai chu, kai chu. Very good, kai chu. Next one. 桌子上是张先生的东西. 桌子上是张先生的东西. On the table are Mr. Zhang's things. It looks like nothing is missing. But think about it, we can put in an adverb. We just learned these, 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 these. So many things. They are all Mr. Zhang's belongings. So how to say all in Chinese? Do, right? Do, the o, do. Last one. Lili mai la yi fu. Lili mai la yi fu. We can say Lily bought 
how many clothes or what kind of clothes, right? We can say she bought many. How to say many? Many for today is 不少, right? 不少, or she bought some beautiful clothes. How to say that? 漂亮的. Okay, so we have many answers. Lily 买了不少衣服, or Lily 买了漂亮的衣服. Okay, now let's move on to the next part. The trisyllabic words, which started with the third tone syllable. Third tone syllable. So now let's pay attention to this group, okay? This group, the most important group. Okay, try to read first one. 总经理, 总经理, okay, 总经理. For these things, this one, 总经理, 总 actually means general, and 经理 means manager, okay? 经理 means manager. And for this, how to read the third tone when it is in a disyllabic word? At the end of a syllable, how to read it? It is a half third tone, right? So, 总经理, 总经理. The li is a half third tone. 总经理. Next one, 美男子, three syllables. So, 美 in Chinese it means handsome, beautiful. Handsome, beautiful. And 男子 means man. So this one is actually can separate into 美 and 男子, right? 美, 男子, beautiful man, beautiful man. So we can, how to write it? 美男子, 美男子, 子. No, we will read it as a half the term. 美男子, 美男子. Okay, 美男子. So for these two are not the same as the syllables we've learned before because for the syllables we've learned before, we can just separate into two and one when we don't know it, right? Two and one. But for these two, this two, let's see, we separate it into this group, one and two, one and two, right? One and two, one and two. So what should we do? Actually, it doesn't matter because this third tone is at the end of the whole syllable, right? The whole syllable. So, because it is at the end, it will always be read as an half third tone. So, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how, what kind of groups we will separate it into, okay? It will always be read as the half third tone. Okay, now let's see next one. This one, three third tones, three third tones. This is Mickey Mouse, Mi Lao Shu, Mi Lao Shu. And for this, actually, Mi Lao Shu. Lao Shu, Lao Shu is the mouse. Lao Shu is the mouse. So for Lao Shu, this one, what should we do? We will change the first Lao into second tone. So we will read it as Lao Shu, right? Lao Shu. And me, we will just read it as usual. For this one, it's a little bit special because Lao Shu is really a common word in a really, in really basic word. So we will just assume everyone will know it and we will read this Lao as Lao. Okay, so Mi Lao Shu. Mi Lao Shu. Okay, Mi Lao Shu. Last one. Three plus a fourth and plus a third tone. Mei shu guan. Mei shu guan. For this one, we will just separate it into two one type, two one type. And mei shu, it means art. And guan, it means place. So mei shu guan, art gallery, art gallery. So mei shu, mei shu, nothing special for this. Syllable so, and guan, 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 nothing special for it too. So let's read it. Mei shu guan, mei shu guan, and please pay attention to guan. Read it as a half the tone, okay? If you can, read it as half the tone. Mei shu guan, mei shu guan, okay? This is the publication in trisyllabic words, part three. Nothing very special, just do as what we learned before. 
Next one is the single component characters for today. The first one is kai, which means open or drive, open or drive. So first we will write a short horizontal and then a longer one and then a left turning and then a vertical. Really easy one. Try to write it with me again. First a horizontal, a longer one, left and vertical. Again. Horizontal to horizontals and left turning vertical. This is kai kai, which means open or drive. Next one is the car, chu car. Now let's see how to write it. First, a horizontal, and then this. This thing, this part, we've learned it in chu, go somewhere, right? In this part. And for true, it is on the top here. Next is a horizontal and then a vertical. Okay, try to write with me again. Okay, again. Again. Try to write it beautifully after the class, okay? Try to practice it more. Next is hui, which means go back, return. Okay, this is a full closure structure. Okay, it is fully closed. So a short, a small one, and then put a long horizontal to close it. Okay, try to write it with me. So please don't write the horizontal to close it right now, okay? It is wrong, it is wrong. Some students like to close it right now, just like they like to draw two triangles, two squares inside it, okay? Don't draw two squares. It is not Chinese, it's not the right answer to write the strokes. We will write this thing this part first and then close the whole structure okay we will write the horizontal the, the vertical the horizontal hook and then write the small square inside and then close the structure okay don't just draw two squares okay this is the three single component characters for today and now let's move on to our chinese radicals two new radicals first one is yu. This is Yu. It actually means moon or month, right? But actually, this radical Yu is usually related to human body. Okay, usually related to human body or myths. First one is Fu, Yi Fu, from Yi Fu. For this character when it is used alone it is a second tone second tone full close close but when it is inside e full, this word it is a neutral tone and it means close so close is weird on human body so this is radical yu, rou yu pang. next one pang, po ang, pang, fat fat is describing someone's body so this part is rou yue pang, radical yue. Next one is ti shou pang. Ti shou pang, te yi ti shi o shou. Actually, this thing, this thing, it actually means shou hand, shou hand. So it is usually related to action about your hand, something like hitting. So first is da. First example is da, de, a, da. It means to beat. We can see the left part of it is ti shou pang, the radical shou. It means to beat, to hit. Next one, zhao, 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 to look for. The left part of it is still ti shou pang, radical shou, because when you want to find something, you are using the your hand, right? So this is the two radicals for today. One is shou yu pang, one is the ti shou pang, radical yu and radical shou, okay? So this is all for today's class. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.